morning everybody welcome to sunny Weymouth and it is just after what about eight minutes to eleven and today I'm pottering I'm pottering around I've just I got these two baskets um, this one and that one from a charity shop and when I um, when I take things round for all the people that I've grown, when I'm giving it away, I take it round in these. It looks nice because they're older people, and I just think it looks nicer. So I'm giving them a lick of paint today. I'm just, like I said, pottering about. At the minute, I'm filling my water bots up because we've had no rain, so I should be able to leave then at least. For, um, to get all the chemicals out, leave them a couple of days. Gets all the chemicals out. So, filling up nicely. Right, I'm going to get on with my painting of my baskets. And see, that's the colour it was. And that's the colour it is now. It'll make it last a little bit longer. Cause that one is a bit frail. It's falling to pieces a bit, so I'll get on it. Let's just go over and have a look. See that corner that I said I was uh, going to tidy up. I'm just in the process of cutting that branch down, that tree stump. I've got so far through it, but it's too much hard work at the minute. <laughs> I'm going to dig it all over and I don't know what I'm going to do with it then. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I might plant some up there, a bush. I don't know. And right, let's go and have a look at them turnips that I replanted. I don't think they're doing too well. Oh. Hang on. There we go. Just leave that there a minute. And saturate the ground underneath. Mm. They don't look too healthy, do they? Just open the gate. Well, they look like they're all dying off, but I'm going to give them a chance. Oh, what are you doing there? I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them a good water. See what happens. They might come back to life. It doesn't look like it, but they... Oh, actually, there's a new little leaf there. You see it? So, I'll give them a good soak in. Keep my fingers crossed. Like I said, I'm having, I'm having to water now because it's a fight... It is a fight for the um, bindweed. It's a fight for the uh, the water taps, especially first thing on the morning and last thing at night. So I'm trying to water the ground, you know, not on top. Bindweed everywhere. My mum always said to me, don't touch bindweed, you'll wet your bed. Oh, I don't mind having a little trickle. I have to get my ten of ladies out. And welcome to all my new subscribers. All of them. I've got 40. Yeah, bring it on. 40 subscribers. That's brilliant. Thank you for um, coming along with me on my little journey. And if you think I'm doing something wrong or anything, anything that you can help me with, just put it in the comments you know how it goes right I think I've made a bit of a boo-boo here because to my knowledge I planted five um, spaghetti squash they're only little and one pumpkin this is nice, this one's growing, look. 
so I'm going to have to get a peg and grow it this way because I want to grow them, you know, that way. This is the pumpkin, which is growing the right way. Another spaghetti squash. And these two are supposed to be spaghetti squashes. But if you ask me, they they look like, um, oh, yeah, courgettes. So if they are, that one and that one look, I think they are. So what I'm going to do is leave them to grow as marrows, because I know... The, um, I hate saying this, older people like marrows. I don't like them. And what I'm doing with my runner beans here, I know they're only, what, three, the things, fence is only three foot high. But what I'm doing is I'm trailing them along. So when I see that it's growing up, I just bend it over and let it keep going along and then what I'll do is I'll turn it and let it go along again like that see what happens here's one oh, oh my knees here's one so I took it in there I've got to get out there as well and cut the grass oh, come on be careful because they're really delicate. And that'll grow along. See how this one's growing along and then it's gone up? So I'll just untangle it. And then twine it round. And then, like I said, when it comes up here, I'll do it along there, and then along there. See how I get on with it. But yes, everything's looking nice, except for what I said with these. These have got to be courgettes, haven't they? Eh? I'm almost sure they are. There's one growing there. Oh well. Right, I'm just going to take you in to show you them cauliflowers. Oh, that was growing. I've just watered in here, so the ground gets a bit. Ouch! ground gets a bit muddy. Look. <laughs> Little baby. I'm just going to lean out and see what happens. This one's growing. That one's growing a lot. So I believe you're supposed to like cover it over like this. So I'm going to pull the leaves over and try and cover it up. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Look at that, that's growing well as well. That's a cucumber. Yeah, it's it's all growing, but these have got to be um, autumn. Oh. Oh. I spy with my little eye something beginning with raspberry. Or something beginning with Raz and ending in Burry. I shall leave that another day and then I shall eat that. I was just going to say, these look to be autumn flowering um, raspberries. So I believe that you cut them down to the ground and then they grow up again. Again, I'm not sure, so let me know if you know. And I've just spotted oh, something else growing down here. And it's a big beetroot. Wow. 
So I shall leave that. I shall leave that there. Let it grow a bit bigger. Oh, oh, my knees aren't what they used to be. They're still mine, but they're not what they used to be. This comfrey that I planted, do you remember? That's growing well now, so at least I know that's going to be established. But once I chop that, that stump down there, I just don't know what to do with this. Like I said, I might plant a bush, though. I'm not really into flowers and things, so... I have to try and think of a bush that I can plant there. Right, let's... Let's potter a bit more. Okay, so I've painted this basket. And... It's come out looking really nice. I think I'll give it another coat, maybe. Just leaving it there to dry. And I've started painting this one now. Well, that's the colour it was. That's the colour it is. Nice. And I might even paint this... Um, table when I finished. It'll just make it last that little bit longer. There we go. Both of my baskets are finished now. They're almost dry. Ready to use for the next harvest. But yeah, pretty pretty colour to what they were. A nice bright orange. Um, I can't remember if I showed you or not me finishing this um, path off finish that path and I started this one and I've got to there and I've now run out of stone so I just want some to go from there to about here and then we can start on this because I hate it I want to get it all empty and dug out properly and a new uh, liner put in. And look at all them flies, all having a little drink. Yeah, so I think that's about it. I think that's about it from Charlie and me. I'll bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.